know, Josh, I think that's so important and it's such an insight that few people have, because I think the flip side to that, that sometimes happen, happens with particularly with younger people is they'll, they'll meet the big person, right? The person in the big job. They'll expect that the, that person has all of this knowledge and knows exactly what they're doing. They realize that they don't. And so they lose faith. Like, why does this person even deserve to be there? And so they sort of fall on the, the other side of not realizing what enables them to kind of be there. And it's interesting to hear you talk about that you don't have to know everything, but what you've got to be is confident that you can deal with what comes. And I want to run something past you. I read something recently where a person was talking about um, what he called neutral thinking. And mm. what he said was, is that a lot of people will go through life and everybody faces problems. Some people will be, you know, go from highs and lows. They'll be super excited or super depressed. They, they react emotionally. And as a result, it can be great or they can just be slowed down by the negative side of it. And what he was saying is when it comes to problem solving, what enables people to solve problems is a neutral look at it that like isn't like, oh, crap, this is going to kill us. It's like, all right, this is one more thing we need to deal with. Let's figure out how to deal with it. And so when I hear you talk about problem solving, it's sort of like that. So how do you think people get that, that confidence that they may not always know the answer, but they're probably going to have a way of figuring it out? Well, and maybe this leads us to kind of the, the center of this conversation. And I'm going to bring in the word community uh, because um, you most likely, and this is a, this, there's a freedom in what I'm about to say, most likely you won't be the one to solve the problem. And there's a freedom in that because you go, wait a minute. Um, I don't have to be the one to solve the problem. I need a community around me that can help me solve this problem. And I think that there's a hubris that ultimately suffocates us when we go, um, I don't know how I'm going to solve this problem. And that weight becomes unbearable. And you go, wait a minute, what if there was this beautiful freedom that you could actually walk in that says, I'm not going to solve this problem, but the community around me that I've, that I've built, that I've sourced is gonna help me solve this problem. And I think that's a maturity and a growth that few people ever get to because of hubris, you know, because of insecurity, because those are, those are very interesting things are very, very aligned. Um, but my statement would be, give yourself the freedom to be the one that's not gonna solve the problem. Give yourself the opportunity to have a big enough community that's ready to work and help you that will solve problems.